What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Corpse Party in the last episode. Um, we started off Chapter 5. There was a lot going on. Kizami and Yuka were not having the best of times. And then we got to Morishige, who had quite the realization that really struck him in the feels. And now, and now we're with Satoshi, and now me. And we're going to see what's going on. Also, I do want to give a quick little shout-out. I've been really enjoying a lot of the little comments you guys make, a lot of the little jokes, especially Lulzer the Fourth. I want to say that um, a lot of your little comments have made me really laugh, and I really do appreciate them. And I think it's Momir Anderson. Um, a lot of your comments, in particular about Kizami, who's a character I kind of overlooked a lot in the past, have been pretty enlightening. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for that. Um, I like having a lot of, or I of course like having like interactivity and such. And this is one of my, well, I, w I, don't, I don't know if I'd say it's one of my favorite games, but it is a game that I really enjoy playing. I really do like the story, and it's really cool to have people to chat about it with. So thanks for being those people. Now, back to the game. Satoshi is saying, the girl in the red dress. Huh. I think I may have seen her. Her ghost, anyway. When I was with Seiko in one of the dark classrooms. Yeah, that's right, at the very beginning of the game. She was crouched down on the ground and staring right at us. I saw her too, in the shadows, when Yuka and I were walking through the hall earlier. It's like she's keeping an eye on us. We also found an old newspaper article in the nurse's office about the Heavenly House kidnapping and murder case. Mm, very suspicious. There were photos of the four victims, and she was one of them. There's no doubt in my mind. That ghost girl we've both seen is definitely Sachiko. But how is that possible? According to what we just saw, Sachiko wasn't killed. She survived. And if that's the case... Shouldn't she have grown up into a proper adult by now? She'd have to look older than us, at the very least. Hmm. Staying behind in a place like this, in child form, with the other victims... <laughs> Just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Yeah, that, that part bothers me too. Yeah, something's a little off. I'm guessing that shortly after the incident, through some unrelated accident or something, Sachiko lost her life as well. If we can somehow meet up with her spirit, maybe we can learn more about what happened. More than what was reported, at the very least. If it's the key to getting everybody out of here safely, I'll take my chances with this school's curse. Or whatever the heck it is. Once we find Yuka, what we say, what say we look for Sachiko as well? Okay, though I am worried. I haven't heard Yuka's voice at all since before you found me. Yeah, na Naomi's got a got a point. Satoshi, you have no idea what Yuka's going through right now, and it is not something you would definitely he would definitely not be okay with it. <sighs> Hashtag not my own Nissan. I love that. <laughs> yeah, we need to find some means of getting back to the other building. <gasps> of course, of course, there's an earthquake right now. <laughs> Oh, uh, what the heck? This one feels completely different from any of the others. Do you think this one is maybe the collapsing of, like, one of the nexuses? One of the dimensional spaces? Oh god, it's a big one! The school can't possibly- ah! Uh... Oh no. Naomi! Naomi, are you alright? Hang on to me! Uh, okay. Don't let go. So brave of you, Satoshi. I won't. Darn it, it just keeps going. 
Ha. Oh, it's a ceiling beam. Satoshi. Oh, a ceiling beam fell on Satoshi. That's that's not good. He's bleeding. Satoshi, Satoshi, speak to me. Are you okay? Of course. We're gonna switch back now. I'm gonna switch back now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Typical corpse party. Oh my god, some big event is happening. We have no idea what's gonna happen. We really wanna know. So naturally, we're just gonna switch over to another character's perspective. Alright, Ayumi, what do you have to say? No, please don't kill me. Don't kill me, please, no. That's right, so she's snapping out of the uh, memory after having relived that. So Shinozaki, Shinozaki, snap out of it! Yikes. <laughs> Quite the horrifying dream. Vision, rather. Yikes. To do so much as that, that's gotta, I mean, like... It's pretty interesting that such a vivid dream had such an intense physiological reaction. Shinozaki, Shinozaki are you alright? Mm, poor Ayumi. Poor Ayumi. Uh, it's okay. Everything's okay. Okay. Come on, Shinozaki. Everything's fine. You're you're safe. It's okay. It's gotta snap back to reality. Up oh, there goes gravity. Oh. <laughs> what the? Did he just use his shirt? That's that's what happened to me. Uh, it's so funny listening to Japanese in this. I'd say I translate that more so like that like scenario or that like scene was what happened to me, or is like my, is like my event from that time. What was it like? What did you see? I saw the true identity of the the murderer. Huh? Huh? That's right, she's the only one who knows. That's why the darn doll wasn't enough. Repentance from the killer. We had the wrong person. Wait, are you, are you telling me... You were, you were actually there? Like you saw the scene of the murders? That's exactly what I'm saying. I was seeing everything through Yuki's eyes. I was bound and then I was killed. No, no. Gosh darn it, you little piece of... It's not her fault. I'm the one who wanted to know. Yeah, I was going to say, don't get mad at her. If anything, she's helping you out. She's already helped you out plenty. The murderer was a little girl. You remember the newspaper article Suzumoto showed us? Her photo was in it, along with her name. It's the girl in the red dress, Sachiko Shinozaki. She was listed as one of the victims, but believe me, she's no victim. Yeah, no kidding. And she's pretty manipulative at that. Huh? 
Whoa. Yeah, I can understand this being a little <laughs> shocking. <laughs> no, that can't be right. That's impossible. For a little girl to do something like that. How could she abduct other children her own age and keep them prisoner no less? Yeah, it's a very valid point. How would she be able to do something like that? I could believe it if it were that monster with the hammer, but a little... He seems fully capable of kidnapping and tying up little kids any day of the week. He was just an accomplice. The mastermind is Sachiko. When these children were killed by Sachiko, the man with the hammer was in the corner of the room, quaking in fear. Which clearly shows the power dynamic between the two of them. You can't be serious. I have no idea why he would have helped Sachiko in the first place, though. It didn't seem like he really wanted to. We have to tell the others, Mochida and Yui Sensei. Oh. Yeah, I I guess. Even Naho wasn't able to find out the whole truth, and she's been in there longer than any of us. Oh yeah, that's true. If we don't hurry up and tell them, they'll be dead before they ever find out. Hmm, will they be dead either way? How else would we... Do we really want to go back and tell them? Do we really want to go back and risk our own lives again? If Sachiko catches them unaware, it could all be over. We have to go back. Yuki, please. Take us back into the closed spaces. We'll find a way to exercise you and all the other spirits trapped in Heavenly Host, I swear. Wow, Aimi coming through with a lot of courage, a lot of, lot of audacity. I wouldn't recommend that. As a result of your interference, as well as the interference of your friends. Those spaces are in a state of critical flux right now. If I were to take you back, even if I kept this clarity of mind the whole time, I doubt I'd ever be able to bring you home again. Ooh, ooh, that's a hard bargain. But, if we don't go back, everyone's going to die. Ooh, this is, this is a pretty difficult question. This is a pretty big ethical dilemma. Kishinoma-kun. Let's go. Please, to save our friends. Come on, for Mochida. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, but no. Also, like, Ayumi, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, stop specifying Mochida, right? Like, you guys are friends. Maybe you have a crush on him. But, like, you're telling this consistently to the guy that is essential to you having survived this far and probably surviving more in the future. And it's not like, a, it's like, oh, there's like a crazy power dynamic. But just, like, be sensitive to him, right? You need him to be in his tip-top mental and physical shape in order to... And like emotional state in order to make it through. And it seems like you're just pushing all of his buttons throughout this whole thing. <laughs> I don't want to set one foot in that building <laughs> ever again. And you should neither. We'd have to be out of our minds to go back there. We'd die for sure. Why? I mean, Ayumi of all people, you're only alive right now because of Yoshiki. Like, Ayumi would be long gone if it weren't for Yoshiki. 
つもそうなのよ Why do you always have to be like that? I mean, he's negative, he's maybe not as altruistic. He's a skeptical, he's probably more realistic rather than idealistic, like Ayumi is in this case. Which is interesting because Ayumi doesn't seem to be as grounded, obviously, in her ideals and her morals, but also in that she doesn't have as strong capabilities. She doesn't have as much ability to deal with reality and is oftentimes the one consuming to the reality around her despite wanting to overcome it for her ideals. Where Yoshiki is the one who doesn't want to have to endure reality for some sort of idealistic pursuit, yet has the capability to do so. Or so it seems. <laughs> That's what I hate about you. See, like, Ayumi, like, come on, how could you be so idealistic for the sake of, like, saving Monshida? But, like, if you're going to, like, try to get Yoshiki to, like, work with you, like, this is not how you do it, guys. Like, take notes. This is not how you get someone to work together with you. This is not how you do a group project. This is not how you work together on something. This is not how you make friends. You don't give a crap about anyone's feelings but your own. And you're so stubborn once you've set your mind on something. <laughs> like, you're one to talk, Ayumi. You're literally embodying everything you're criticizing Yoshiki for. Are you honestly saying you're fine as long as you get through this alive? Oh, don't you dare try to psychoanalyze me. We'll die, and I don't want to die. Is that clear enough for you? I mean, like, life or death matter. Like, your life, someone else's life, that's a tough situation. It's a tough situation. Everyone, everyone's going to have that survival instinct. <laughs> Fine, do whatever the heck you want. It was stupid of me to even bother asking you. I'll go by myself. I can't believe you. Do you really not care about rescuing your friends? I mean, to say that Kishinuma doesn't really want to save his friends is different, right? Kishinuma, in his mind, could want to save his friends like no other, yet at the same time, it could, to him, boil down to a decision, okay, does everyone die or does everyone but us two die? Right? Like, regardless of whether or not you want to, whether or not that's moral, whether or not that's ethical, whether or not that's something you can be a proud of, it might come down to that. And that's a perspective I can at least respect a bit. Whoa. That language that you're a delinquent, a coward, everyone's going to die, and you don't even care. Yeah, you don't care about everyone either. You, the only person you care about is Satoshi. Ain't that the truth, though? Ain't that the truth, though? <laughs> you can drop the act. It's gotten pretty old. Always mochida this, mochida that. Well, I hope you two are happy together in eternal damnation. But before you go, at least try to read the writing on the wall. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm telling you, I love you, darn it. I, one thing that really bugs me is that almost everyone translates skida as like, I love you. But it's not really, it's not really like the same as I love you in English. It's more like, I like you. And then maybe like, daiskida is like, I really like you. And then more like, aishiteru is like, I love you. Where it's like a really deep, profound love that maybe married couples would say a handful of times throughout their entire marriage. Um... But I don't know. It's not like he's saying, I love you. It, it, that doesn't really make a ton of sense in English, in my opinion. <clears throat> what? You're so oblivious. And you always have been. You've been watching Satoshi so closely, you never even noticed how much I care about you. I mean, this has been a weird situation and all, but when we got separated from him, and you and I wound up alone together... 
I have to admit, it made me kind of happy. I thought maybe it would be a good chance to catch your eye and draw it away from his. But the whole time, all you could think about was him. You probably kept wishing it was Satoshi by your side instead of me. Wow, well, Satoshi's not here. I am, so look at me. Darn it, from the bottom of my heart, I... Stop it. Hmm, just stop it, please. How could you think any of that is true? I mean... I mean, we've been thinking that <laughs> the whole time. Well, is not the only one I'm worried about. It does, it does seem like he's the one you're clearly worrying about by a large margin more than the others, though. Remember just a few short hours ago when everyone was cleaning up after the culture festival and complaining about it the whole time? Isn't that a precious memory to you? Interesting. I, I Sorry I keep commenting on translation and stuff, but she said, like, which is like, wasn't that fun? But, like, it translated as, like, isn't that a precious memory to you? I want us to have experiences like that again. There's still so much I want to share with all of you. That's why I'm going back, because if I don't, we can never be together again, and the thought of that absolutely mortifies me. Oh man. So please, Yuki, take me back. I don't care if I have to go it alone. Just please, hurry before it's too late. You're certain? Yes, please. As you wish. Just for the record, Kishinama. I'm absolutely terrified of this, but I'm still doing it. <laughs> Darn it. Do whatever the heck you want. I'm going home. Are we, though? Oh, so now we're controlling Kishinama. I don't know, man. I don't know. That whole, uh... Can we, can we, can we, like, jump into this? Can we just dive into all the hands and everything? Interesting. So I guess we do have to start on our way home, question mark? We're collected by a bouquet of flowers for our dear friend Suzume, who will be leaving us for a new school after the festival. 300 yen per person. They're... they're all gone now. <laughs> Yeah, what does it even matter? It'll just be like my 10th grade year, all over again. I can go back to being a lone wolf, no biggie. I'm pretty much used to it, honestly. Huh? Oh, hey, Yoshiki, what are you up to? What, what is Satoshi doing here? Satoshi? Satoshi? What kind of face is that? You've been skipping meals again or something? Huh? <laughs> I was gonna say, now he's gonna get like flashbacks of everyone. Oh, it's gonna peel the heart, your, pull the heartstrings. Kishinuma, you're late! But you seem in good spirits again today, at least. Suzumoto. Suzumoto. Are we... I... If I recall correctly, we at least have the decision to go back. You don't care about everyone either. The only person you care about is Satoshi. I wouldn't want to leave with those memories. 
heck was I thinking? Why would I have said that to her? That wasn't it at all. It's not even remotely what I wanted to say. I mean, you did get a lot of feelings off your back. Admittedly, not in the best and most conducive way, but... I just wanted to protect her. What is wrong with me? I'll probably never see her again. I take it back, I take it all back. Please, God, let me take it back. It's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends anyway, that's the gist of it. All the memories come back, all the feels. Yoshiki, he, the person he likes, he left on such horrible terms. And all of his friends are probably going to die without him. Darn it, show yourself! Get out of here, ghost girl! Please, I'm begging you! How could I be such a baka? Please, I don't... I don't want to lose them! Yoshiki's gonna go back and fight! He's gonna go protect them! Is that gonna work? Is she actually gonna come back? <gasps> She's back! Sorry, but please, take me too. I was about to run from this, the way I always do. But when I first started hanging out with those losers, I felt like I was reborn. So please! Shinozaki is scared of everything, but even she's giving this her best shot. And I'm not about to let her upstage me. I swear, we're going to wrench that repentance from Sachiko with our bare hands if we have to. And put all the rest of you at peace, once and for all. Oh man, you're such an anime protagonist, Yoshiki. <laughs> I do like the courage, though. I like, I like the... What's it called? Confidence. Are we, are we Ayumi now? What are we supposed to do? Do we walk on out? A call? What, what the, I got a text? But I've had no service this whole time. Actually, I still have no service. Yo, 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 I love this music so much. Yes! This music is so good! This is my favorite song from this game. Maybe the OP too. But this music is so good! Oh, I love this chapter so much for this reason. <laughs> let, al like, let alone the rest of the chapter. But oh my god, I, this gets me so pumped up. And it's so great with like Yoshiki's little like anime protagonist like speech and everything. Shinosaki, where are you? I'm here too. Let's meet up. Kishinama, you came through after all. Let's see if he gets my reply. Message sent. Huh. <laughs> Interesting that they can now suddenly text each other. I'm worried about you being all by yourself. <laughs> Jerk. Yes! I appreciate it. I was starting to feel kind of overwhelmed. Come quickly and send. I do feel a little better now. <laughs> Actually, that was probably the first time I've ever responded to a text message from Kishinoma. <laughs> oh my goodness, Ayumi. But he's not coming, is he? 
Maybe I should try texting him again. What are you doing? Where are you? Send. Phone probably just realized it's supposed to have no service here. That's all. But if he's in the school, I'm sure I'll run into him eventually. All right. Okay, so now we have control of Ayumi again, and we are in Chapter 5. Uh, Kishino Makun has apparently joined us in this school. We're alone, though, which is obviously pretty dangerous for Ayumi. But we are going to start off exploring. We're going to look for our friends. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to see if we can put an end to all of this in the next episode. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, please let me know in the comment section below. Maybe even hit like if you really enjoyed this episode. But regardless, I'll see you guys for the next episode of Course Party, next episode of Chapter 5. But until then, this has been Midnight Zero. And this mission is complete.